it was us was up on the scaffold and he was down below mixing the cement. <laughs> Make the mixer, we called him. Isn't that right, Sean? Make the mixer. <laughs> How would I know? You're the one that's... Hey, hey, hey. Uh, make the mix, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was just thinking there. If you knew my father in England, well then surely you would have known his brother too. His brother? Aye. His brother. Uh, we know Mick's brother. Uh, do you remember, uh, Sean? His brother? Uh, his brother. Which, which, which brother was that? Sure, he only had the one brother. You know who we mean. Tom. He's not with us anymore. Oh, Tom. Tom, Tom, I good old Tom. <laughs> Tear away Tom, we used to call him. <laughs> sure, he was like a brother to us. <laughs> I'm sorry he's not with us anymore now. When did, well, when did he die now? Oh, he's not dead. Oh, no. I mean, he doesn't live around here anymore. Tom's living in England. He's very much alive and well. <laughs> in fact... He's on his way over from England now, even as we speak. I'm sure he'll be delighted to meet his two old friends again. I say it'll be a great surprise for him. Oh, it'll be a powerful surprise, all right. <laughs> uh, would you excuse me, please, gentlemen? I want to go and tend to something in the kitchen. I shall I give you a hand, ma'am? Oh, thanks, Liam. No problem. Lads, would you do me a bit of a favour? Would you sit your ground there and keep a wee eye on himself for a minute? Uh, watch him? Aye, let's just keep a wee eye on him. Now stand your ground and don't go away. I'll be back in a few minutes. It's just I'm digging for a fag and I just have to get out. I'll be back in in a minute. Aye, I, I no bother. Aye. Come on, now's our chance to get out of here. What do you mean? He told us to watch him. We can't just jump up and leave a corpse on its own. It's not like he's going to walk away now, is it? Ah, but that's not the point, Dan. We can't leave after all the hospitality they showed us. Look. Look at Sean. They are suspicious of us for some reason. And the brother's due at any minute. And he'll expose us for, 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 for the vex that we are. If we are caught out, they th they'll, they'll think we're a pair of con men for sure. Like, like, we have never even been in England. Well, I was in England once. On a holiday, like. Uh, Mrs. Fehan, uh, Liam, I, I'm sorry, but we have to go. We, we have somewhere else to go. Okay. Uh, look, at, thanks for all your hospitality. Uh, come on, John. Oh, gentlemen, you're more than welcome, but you're... What's your rush, anyhow? Surely you can stay a while longer. I oh, sure Tom will be here any minute, or surely you'd like to wait and stay to see him. It'd mean an awful lot to him, I'd say. Well, I wouldn't say it would mean that much to him. The wait is over. The very man has arrived. Here he is, Uncle oh, Tom. Tom, it's great ah, to Sarah, see Sarah, you. Sarah, God bless us. I'm sorry I'm late, but the taxi man, he kept getting lost. Ah, young Liam. <laughs> How are you, Gosling? It's great to see you, Tom. Uh, no, Tom, Tom. Do you see these two here? Do you recognise them at all? Could they be the two I was telling you about outside? This is it, John. The game is up. Why is you? Now, Tom, take your time. Have a good look. Joe, what are you playing at? You be quiet too and let him study them. Study them for what? Ah, oh, that's them. I know them rightly. <laughs> you do? Uh, Joe, what's this all about? I'll tell you now what it's all about. You mind me father walked in the bank in England? Aye. But well, one day two men approached him. Well, they asked him would they help him rob that very bank. An inside job, you might say. Now, nobody got hurt. But when my father went to the hideout to collect his money, these fellas wouldn't give him to him. Instead, they gave him a bullet in the knee and would have left him for dead only for the cops arrived just in the nick of time. But in the confusion, well, my father got away, but you see, the money disappeared. But so what's that got to do with these two? The two that double-crossed me father were Irish, mid-thirties at the time, ex-army men, and, well, me father told me that in the event of his death, two men such as these would turn up at his wake in the search of their money. Well, it's not us. It can't be us. Let me explain. You fit the profile. You're Irish. You're in your sixties. You're ex-army men. And Tom here says he knows you. No, he didn't. 
He just said he recognised us, and I don't see how the hell he could. Tom knew the gang members, and if he says he knows you, that's good enough for me. We don't know Tom. We've never seen him before. Ever. But you said you knew him earlier when we mentioned his name. Do you want to know the truth? Let me explain. We're at the wrong wick. Um, we didn't know this till we looked into the coffin, and, and, and uh, since then we've been trying to get out of here. Like, we, we thought we were at Frank Flood's wick. Like, we, we got the address wrong. You mean you got the address wrong? Don't start that again. Well, we don't even know me. We don't even know Tom. We've never been in England, ever. Well, I was in England once on a holiday, like, you know. Shut up, Sean! Damn your silent, don't tell me to shut up. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be in this mess with the wrong address. We'd have been out here long ago if you'd have got up with your arse when the going was good instead of filling your belly full of tea and sandwiches and, and whiskey. Oh, and my father gave me just one more instruction. In the event of these two turning up, I was to give them each a bullet in the knee from this very gun as payback. Honest to God, we are not the lads that you want. We don't, we don't, we never did anything to your family. We don't even know your father. This thing's a whole mix up. Joe, where the hell did you get that gun? My grandfather used it in the war, my father used it in England, and I'm going to use it on these two. Will you listen to yourself? Will you just stop pointing it at them, will you? You're going to be telling the truth. Uncle Tom here says he knows them, isn't that right, Tom? I, I will, well, well, let me see. They, they, they look like them. Will you shut up, you seen and I'll figure you. We don't know you, so you don't know us. So tell him to put the gun down before he kneecaps the both of us. But I know you. I know you from some place. There you are. He hasn't a clue who we are. It's no odds. I know you're the man I'm after and you're not getting away from me. Oh, jeez, look at He's getting up from the coffin. Oh, it's a real man. Oh, Tom, Tom, stop it, don't it. Get away, don't it. Hey, Tom, Tom, Why didn't you shoot them? Ah, where the hell was I going to get bullets for a freaking out thing like this? Ah, give me that. Will you eat it? Stop! Ah. There's the taxi. Finally, a bit of luck. Then buy some some hurry. <laughs> get the hell out of there! Come on, quick! Just scare the life of me. Ah, will you come on? Hurry up! Right to the hell! What about Frank's wake? Ah, oh, the hell with Frank's wake. I have enough of this crack. I'm getting too old for it anyway. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do well to go to the bloody tuner. Here, lads. You should have seen the old boy I'm after dropping off there. He was going to the brother's wake, right? <laughs> he had me driving round in circles looking for the house. We stopped at two different wake houses before we got the right one. Can you imagine going to the wrong wake? <laughs> stupid would you be? That's right. How stupid, eh? Makes no difference who you are, Skid Row Joe or Superstar. You're going out the same way you came in. We are born into this world without a thing. And we leave it just as naked as we came. Him a drive a coop to build on a mansion on the hill. Don't mean nothing. Who the hell are you, fellas? 